Good morning, good morning, guys. How you doing? If you celebrate Christmas, happy Christmas, Merry Christmas. Today is Christmas. Um, what I wanted to do is um, get into a reboot um, of my Car Flipping 101 video series I have. I have a separate playlist. It's called Car Flipping 101. If you're new to the car business, I want to check that out. And it's not for you guys that have been doing it for a while. It's for people who are new, right? Want to learn about negotiation, tactics, marketing, you know, things of that nature. <clears throat> not just getting cars from the auction. So what I wanted to do was do a reboot of that for the upcoming year. All right. You know, the market has changed a little bit. I've learned more. We all have learned more. And what I wanted to put a spin on it is more of interaction with you, my audience, or the subscribers, the people who watch this video. What has been your experience? All right. I want to enter. I want to input that into the information I'm offering. All right. So the very first video in the car flipping one on one is uh, pricing guides. All right, pricing guides. And in there, I speak about utilizing uh, Kelly Blue Book as your basic source of information for pricing your vehicles, you know? Because you may be looking on a, 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 a list, right? Uh, a list of cars to go to auction, and you may be trying to decide which cars you want to bid on, which cars you want to buy. But before you do that, you have to know what the cars are potentially worth. So in your preparation for possibly buying a car, or bidding on uh, some vehicles, you're going to go through some pricing guides. Okay, this car is worth yeah, 8000 to 10000 uh, You're going to go through some guides. If you don't already know in your head, you're going to go and reach for some pricing guides to figure out what you can sell the car for, potentially. There's a range versus what the car is going, the vehicle is going to cost you. You're looking at the run list, uh, right? You want a few thousand dollars today. You want a range in there so you can make some money. So that's what pricing guys are there for. They're not there to give you a price of what a vehicle could potentially sell for. They're there to give you a range. There's always just a range, all right? It's up to you to be able to take that range information and apply it to your general marketplace, which will vary a little bit based on local factors, based on how well you can represent and sell the vehicle, right? Based how you dress it up, you may clean it up well, that adds another $500 to the value. You know, based on you being able to pick those sleepers where the mileage is really low or you're getting a vehicle with the leather, whatever it is, how much you make on a vehicle is not just an, a hard objective number in a pricing guide that guides. Now, in that video, uh, I talk about uh, Kelly Blue Book, Craigslist. But now what I want to do is offer you some new information. What I found very helpful is car gurus. I use cargurus.com uh, to help me get a feel for, to help me see what the vehicles are selling for in my area, cargurus.com. You get right? I, it's quick, you can put up on your phone or on your, on your desktop, and you can get a, a, a very good sense of valuation of vehicles. That, plus I still use Craigslist. I wanna know what the streets are, are, are offering for, you know, the E-Class 3 Series Black, you know, what's the range? You know, certain cars you can find on Craigslist, the more popular vehicles, you can do that on Craigslist real quick. If it's not, if it's not a popular vehicle, then you're going to find it hard to find on Craigslist. So you got cargurus.com, cargurus cargurus.com, right? And, but what I found also equally enticing to use and important, I've used it a lot, is the MMR tool on my Mannheim app on my phone. Right? I can very easily put in um, even the VIN number of a vehicle and get back the wholesale MMR range as well as the retail range. All right? That's, that's good. I mean, now, if you don't have access to the MMR app, then you won't be able to get that, obviously. So you use cargurus.com as a good way of evaluating your cars. 
all right? But if you have access to the MMR tool on, 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 uh, on Mannheim, that's very quick and easy. You can very easily identify what is the range I can sell this vehicle for and thereby telling you what is the range that you're willing to buy that vehicle for. All right, let's make money. Oh, let me not end it first. <laughs> so again, what I wanted to do with this video series is get into a little bit more interaction from you guys. So tell me in the comments below, what are the tools and apps or websites that you use for pricing guides? Because we always we don't know what you know what prices are floating around our heads. But what do you use? What is what have you found is the best way to gauge the price in which to sell the vehicle to a retail customer? Leave your comments below. If I see something is really really relevant, relevant, you know I'll take that and make it into a video and give you a, you know give you a shout out. All right. So let's try to this coming year let's try to you know help educate each other. You know I'm far from being an expert. You know, I'm far from it. I started this channel with intent to share information. Yes, I make money from it. But my again, my overall intent was still to share information to someone else who's in the business trying to make money flipping cars. All right? Let's make money.